Morning and welcome to BHB Head Office in Parsons Green, South West London. It's Monday the 13th of March and we're here to judge last week's Dream Car Competition Week 10, which ran from March the 6th to the 12th. Just before we start, I'd like to say congratulations once again to last week's winner, Mart Israel, who won the superb Range Rover Sport plus 10 grand. You can see us surprising him on both the website and YouTube channel. I'd now like to hand over to Ross Brown from Onside Law, who'll be overseeing today's judging. My name is Ross Brown from Onside Law, and I'll be overseeing the judging this morning. Firstly, I can confirm that the competition data has already been sent to the auditors, Wilkins Kennedy. I would now like to introduce today's judges and ask them to pick a car out of the bag to determine their seating positions. Mr. Trevor Weaver. Good morning, Ross. Good morning, Trevor. Good morning. I'm Trevor Weaver, been refereeing now for 30 years, currently refereeing on the amateur football combination and the Southern Amateur Leagues. Mr. Leo Donnellan. Good morning, Ross. Good morning, Leo. Good morning, my name is Leo Donnellan. I'm an ex professional football player, having played with Chelsea, Fulham, and Leighton Orient. Good morning, Ross. Good morning, Leo. Mr. Ari Mendonca. Morning, Ross. Morning, Ari. Uh, good morning, my name is Ari Mendonca. I'm an ex football player, uh, played for 17 years. Now I'm a referee since 2002. Yo. Mr. Matthew Ray. Morning, Ross. Morning. Good morning. My name is Matthew Ray. I've affiliated in multiple counties across England and a refereed from grassroots through to professional academies. Green. Mr. Andy Braithwaite. Hello, Ross. Morning. Hello, I'm Andy Braithwaite and I'm a football referee and mentor. Red. OK, judges, please mark on the screen where you think the centre of the ball should be. I'll ask you to do this individually for a few minutes before justifying your position. I'll then ask you to all come to a panel decision on the central screen. Andy, please, can you justify your position on the screen? Certainly. Uh, in my opinion, um, both player blue and red uh, are awaiting the ball to, to come in. Um, I feel that it's a little way away from, from them as they're looking. They've both got their eye on the ball, so it, it basically could come at, at either or. Uh, the reason I've played, placed my uh, cross where it is so I think that um, it's just a little bit further out of shot because of the depth of the picture. And that's why I've placed my cross there. Ari, please can you explain how you've come to your position? Uh, yes, um, we have two players on this shot. Uh, I believe that they are still on the ground, so the ball, uh, in my opinion, is still a bit far from, 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 uh, from, from their reach. Um, the player in red seems to be in control of the situation. He has his arm on the back of uh, the blue player. Um, to get my spot, I used the high line of both of them because I, they are both looking at the ball and that's where I place my ball. Matthew, please can you explain how you've come to your selected position? Yep, yeah, so uh, two players in shot here. I think um, I'm quite confident with the eye line of the player in red. Um, the player in blue, I feel, is looking slightly more steeply than his head is looking. If, if, if we really focus in on his eye, maybe it's more handy to have a look under a magnifier with that. Um, so I've actually placed the ball a little bit closer, um, using the blue player to judge the distance along the red player's eye line, if you like. Um, and that's why I've placed the cross. Trevor, please can you explain why you've selected your position? Yes, um, as already been said, good, um, some good eye lines here to, to uh, take into account and to draw from. Um, so just as everybody else said, cross reference in those. I think probably the red player will win the ball, but it's, that's not really clear. Um, but, but just taking those two eye lines, I've decided that would be where the ball is. Leo, please really explain why you've selected your position. Yeah, like my colleagues, I think the ball is a little bit away from them and they're waiting for the ball to come into them. Um, 
I feel the player in blue is looking a little bit more steeper than the player in red. Um, they're, they're not jumping. Um, if you look at their body language, they're, they look like they're just waiting for that ball to come in and then obviously they're going to challenge for the ball. And just obviously going by both players' eyes with the player in, in red looking a little bit more uh, horizontally, that's where I've decided to place my cross. Judges, please now come to a decision on the central screen. Okay, gentlemen, I think we're quite a spread here. Yeah. Um, yeah. But maybe we'll start off with an average position of uh, yeah. where we will be in, uh, around this. Yeah. Red so I line. think pretty much on that red line. Yeah, I think so. Yeah. And then height-wise, uh, in terms of. I think well, the high line I think is more or less the same. It's just a matter of the match. Yeah, the average was yeah. Yeah, I mean let's play some art for now and uh, let's have a look at some eyes. So I think we're all quite in agreement with the red player's eye line. Yeah. Coming along that way. Yeah. So let's draw. Uh, that's what we come along. Now it's this height, so we've probably our average position yeah, I think is so. about there. Maybe a touch, are we a touch high? I would have thought so, yes, we definitely are, because I think you're, well, yeah, the slightly higher yellow, yellow is likely. There's one at the moment, maybe. Between blue and yellow. Yeah, 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 yeah she would come down a little bit. Both of them, yeah, I think so. Something like that? Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Let's have a look at this blue player. Now I thought, without a magnifier, he's looking a little bit more vertically. That's why I've placed it a little bit closer oh. um, than his, in his head. I thought that as well. I thought he was looking a bit, a bit higher. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Don't remember, well, one well, of you guys definitely said that. So, yes, uh, I, I think though, so looking again with the magnifier, yeah. I might be a little bit too close, so mm. let's come along. What do you think, Gary? A little bit more down, probably. Because we have to see that the player who's in control of the situation is this one. Yes. So his, his highlight won't change. Yes. This will change because of his pressure on, on his back. Yep. Yep. So. so, yeah, I, th I think the ball's um, definitely going to cover that red player. It's how yeah. far down we go with this. Yeah. Are we. Well, do we think the position is still the same? I, I think, think the position is still... Yeah, that is a good one. Yeah, that's a good one. Let's have a look. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Are we yeah. 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 I'm going high. Yeah. 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 Okay. So, so that brings it... So our cross would now be we're there. at this position? Well, it would if we're going... Let's just have another look at his eyes, maybe. Because I think, are we confident with the red eye line? Yeah. Yeah. So it's it's this blue yeah. eye line. Are we confident with that? Okay. Oh. See, we're coming down slightly. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I've tried down a bit. Yeah, I'd like it. Obviously, yeah. being okay. where where they've intersected there, mm -hmm. where they cross there. So let's maybe cut. We we were. Somewhere like this, yeah. let's, let's, let's come a little yeah. bit lower. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Like this? Yeah. Is that better? Yeah. Okay. Now, you see now, I've got to see that intersection there. Yeah. Yeah. And then we'll, yeah. Yeah. we'll move that across. Yeah. Okay. So let's pop that cross on there. How does that look, Jensen? And as an yeah. average, I don't it's think it's there, to be fair. Yeah, it will so be a lot more there. I think it's. Yeah. It's a good one. Yeah. Yeah. I'm happy with that. I'm happy yeah. as well. Yeah, thanks. Good. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Great. Everyone's reached a decision? Yeah. yeah. Great. That's great. Thank you, judges. The coordinates selected are 720679. These coordinates will now be passed to Wilkins Kennedy to calculate the winner of the competition and they will then inform best of the best. That concludes the judging process. Thank you.